time. So what do we make of this last enigmatic statement? Another disciple said, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. And Jesus said, follow me and leave the dead to bury their own dead. All right. Don't get the impression that this guy's father's stinking corpse is laying on the side of the road somewhere. And Jesus is so impatient, he won't even let him put his father in the ground. That's not what he's saying. Um, back in biblical times, this is an idiom. It just basically says, wait until I gain my inheritance. See, during the biblical culture, the father was the head of the family unit. He wasn't just head of the family. He was head of the family business because families just did the same things over and over and over again. The father, uh, the, the son, really wasn't much different than a slave. Uh, he was a servant and completely beholden to the father. He was his chief apprentice. When the father passed on, he would give everything to the eldest son. And then once he buried his father, he would then be master of his own destiny. So what this guy is really saying in modern terms is, yeah, I'll follow you eventually, but uh, I just need to get all my affairs in order first. Then I'll follow you. All right, now, our culture doesn't necessarily match that. Uh, we don't have people who would actually say, let me first bury my father before I follow you. Um, but we have people doing something very simple. Now, when I give this analogy, I'm not trying to chase anyone out of here. I want you to come back, but more importantly, I want to see you in the kingdom, so I have to talk straight. Um, what we have today, very similar, is people say, uh, yeah, I know the Bible says about living together before marriage, um, but we're, you know, we're just really doing it for financial reasons. We have to like, do this because we get everything in, in order first, which, I mean, first off, come on. Don't think you're living on two separate floors with the doors locked. We know there's other reasons other than financial reasons why you're living together. I said, but we'll just take that, that you're saying you're living together for financial reasons. Um, you're basically telling them, after I get stable, after I get everything in order, yeah, I I'll follow you one day. In other words, let me bury my father first, and then I'll follow you. But Jesus' response is clear. It's concise, and it cuts to the quick. Jesus says, follow me and leave the dead to bury their own dead. Because today, not tomorrow, not next week, not 10 years, today is the acceptable day of salvation. Because if we confess our sins, He's faithful and just to forgive us and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness.